We are going to deploy an NFT collection without having to do any art, without having to deal with the smart contract, everything. And I mean, absolutely everything will be completely automated. Well, check this out. I am not going to speak. I'm going to show you. First of all, we need to tell OpenAI what it needs to generate the art. Let's do an NFT collection that has to do with Dash Hounds. Okay. So I am going to be providing the art description or the art details so then OpenAI can generate the art for us. We obviously have to type the name of the NFT collection at the NFT symbol. Okay, this is a token. Now I am going to tell the application, hey, how many NFTs we are going to offer in the NFT collection? Obviously, we need to provide a description of the NFT collection. Let's go ahead and type it in. Now let's set the price because you need to tell how much is each NFT going to cost. Okay, and select one blockchain are you going to be deploying this nft collection and that's it all we need to do is press enter run the application and let the budget do its thing it starts by generating the images using OpenAI, and you are seeing right now that it's creating those pictures brand new artwork generated completely using ai it's also creating the metadata so not only the art, it's also creating the metadata files. So as we are generating each image is going to also generate the metadata. And I'm going to show you how the metadata will be auto generated and it's going to be completely random. Well, that's not all. As we know, NFT collections, we need to upload the metadata and we need to also upload the art to IPFS, which means that we need to have a mechanism that will allow us to upload this information in real time. And for that, we have Stardom. Stardom is a web free platform that allows me to deploy seamlessly, fast, easy, quick, without going through too much trouble, without having to read 20 documentation pages. It is a very straightforward. With Stardom, we are going to be sending the metadata and we are also going to be sending the pictures files to IPFS. And that's not all. Now, after we used Stardom to upload the information to IPFS, the data, the pictures, the metadata, everything, Stardom is going to provide us the IPFS CID. The application is going to grab that IPFS CID and it's going to generate the smart contract. It's generating the smart contract. Once it generates the smart contract, I am not doing anything. I am literally just watching the screen as everything is done for me. Generates the smart contract. It compiles the smart contract. That's not all. Deploys the smart contract to the blockchain. <laughs> it auto generated the art. It sent all the information to IPFS, the pictures, the metadata. So then the NFT images and information is available completely decentralized using Stardom. It compiled the smart contract. It deployed the smart contract to the blockchain. Everything completely automatic with literally just providing that piece of information and press enter. And that's not all. How are you going to sell the NFTs? Well, let me tell you something. It also created the website so then you can sell the nfts How incredible is that? Is that a wow moment or what? No coding, nothing, because I already did it. I did it for you guys to make your life easier. So it deployed absolutely everything to IPFS with the power of stardom and it generated the smart contract and deployed the smart contract to the blockchain using stardom as well we are leveraging stardom as our api powerhouse because with stardom i can send information to ipfs i can deploy smart contracts 
using Stardom. And as a matter of fact, Stardom has a way to automate smart contract deployments. I don't need to write the code. I will be using Stardom to do the automation piece. In this particular code set, we are generating an ERC721 smart contract and everything, every piece of data that needs to be appended to the smart contract is going to be auto-generated. And as a matter of fact, if you want to know where that smart contract is located, it's right in the contracts folder and you can see it right there. Okay. Not only that, it deployed the smart contract to the blockchain and at the end, you have to sell the NFTs, which means that you need to have a mint portal. So then users can land in that page and buy NFTs. Of course, we're doing that as well. So you open the sites folder and that is your serverless. No need to run a server, double click and you run the mint portal. The mint portal, it's already attached to the smart contract that we generated during the same execution of that application. The same time that I was executing the application and generating the images and doing the smart contract and sending the smart contract to the blockchain, we also generated that HTML site. All you have to do is put a light somewhere and people buy the NFTs. That's it, okay? Okay, so let me show you how can you use this amazing application. Step number one, download Node.js. That's very important. Step number two, download the files that I have on the link in the video description below. Number three, extract the contents of this zip file. Number four, open the attributes JS file. This file has all the metadata attributes for your NFT collection. You can change the information as far as the details for every single attribute. So what the application is going to do is you're going to randomly select one attribute from each metadata section and we are going to auto-generate those JSON metadata files on the fly as soon as we execute the application. So we are done with the metadata. Now let's go into the configuration aspects. There is a file that we are going to open that will have all the configuration aspects needed to successfully deploy this. Okay, now let's go ahead and open an OpenAI account. You need to have an OpenAI API key. Okay, so you go into platform OpenAI and generate the API key. You are going to copy that key and we are going to be placing that key in the section for OpenAI. So let's go ahead and paste that key. Okay, now we have to open our account with Stardom. With Stardom, we are doing the entire magic. It's very important to connect ourselves to Stardom, okay? Open the account with Stardom. We need to create an API key following my video right now. So now we have our key generated. Let's go ahead and paste that key in the configuration file as well. Cool. Now we have to create a wallet. This is the signer wallet. This is a wallet that is hosted in Stardom. And this is the wallet that will be used to deploy the smart contract. In my case, I am going to be deploying the smart contract on a testnet, but if you want to go live, right? And again, this information is all educational. There's no intentions of showing you the way that you are going to deploy your NFT collection or what you want to do. This is educational purposes only, okay? So if you are going to be deploying this in, in the mainnet, you have to generate a key and this key must be placed in your key vault in Stardom. Okay, so then we can use Stardom to deploy the smart contract. It is very important that the wallet that you generate has enough funds or has enough crypto to process the transaction because we're going to be deploying the smart contract, which means that it's going to incur in gas fees. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that the account is properly funded. Okay, now when we're ready, we are going to copy that signer wallet address in the configuration file. Let's go ahead and paste it. Cool. Now we are going to provide the description of the images that we want OpenAI to generate. We are going to be typing that right now. Let's go ahead and type some description. Remember, we are telling OpenAI what kind of pictures do we want to generate. Okay, this will be your NFT art. Now we need to tell what's the name of the NFT collection. Okay, so just type name of that NFT collection. After that, we are going to be providing the description 
of that NFT collection, which is very important. You have to tell what the NFT collection is for. This is a, an NFT collection that whoever is holding NFTs from this collection is going to have access to perks, giveaways, it's going to have exclusive access to member only sites, whatever is the use case for your NFT collection. You provide that description here at the NFT symbol. Okay, this is a token. Now we need to tell how many NFTs do we want to generate or do we want to offer in this NFT collection? Okay, so we type the amount. Just as a test, I am going to type 10. Okay, now we have to set the price and this will be the price of each NFT based on the network or the mainnet that we are going to be deploying this. So in the case of Polygon, this will be 0 0.0005 Matic. This will be the price of each NFT. So once we're done with that, we make sure that we save this file and make sure also that you save the attributes file, which is the metadata file. You made some changes, you have to make sure that you save that, okay? Control S, Control S, and that's it. Now it's time to run this application. All we have to do, open a command prompt, navigate to the folder, and now we have to install all dependencies. Just type npm i and press enter. And type node execute js and press enter. And let the magic happen. It's starting to generate every single image and every single metadata file. It's going to place those in the NFT meta and NFT pick folders. Once that's done, it's going to use Stardom to send those pictures and send that metadata to IPFS. Completely decentralized Web3 storage. This is thanks to Stardom. With Stardom, we can automate this amazing application. Once that's done, it's going to compile the smart contract. It's compiling the smart contract based on the information that we previously provided. This is the amount of NFTs, the name of the NFTs, and the symbol. Now it's deploying the smart contract to the network that we selected in the configuration. The network that we specified, that is the network that Stardom is going to use to deploy the smart contract. It's going to send that smart contract to that network. And it's going to use that signer wallet that we generated in the Stardom API. Once that's done, we are good to go. If you navigate to the sites folder, there's going to be an HTML file. That is the Mint portal, which is very cool. The moment we open that file in a browser, we are presented with the Mint portal. And in each side of that portal, it's referencing to some of the images that were generated by OpenAI. And those are NFT images. So it actually built that HTML file and appended some of the NFT images generated by OpenAI. Now we have the capability to connect our wallet to select how many NFTs do we want to mint. And you can see that it's pulling the information from the blockchain and providing the cost and providing the amount of NFTs available and how many NFTs have been minted. Let's go ahead and mint some NFTs. One last test and we are done. Let's go ahead and check my wallet in the blockchain explorer and in this case we're going to be using mumbai because we deployed this in the mumbai testnet we're going to paste my wallet and we should be able to see the transactions and the nfts minted that's it all it took for us was five minutes press enter and let the magic happen i would like to thank stardom for giving me the opportunity to show you this amazing amazing application and if you like my content you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to. Hey, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.